session is entitled Press, PR and Social Media. I'm pleased to introduce the panellists today, Alistair from TripAdvisor, George, Joe and Aileen. The first question that I thought was relevant based on I suppose, the internet and how big the internet is becoming from a purchasing uh, decision and how people um, refer to the internet to ultimately book a, book a room. How important is it becoming? From a boutique hotel point of view, I think it does offer a great opportunities for levelling the playing field. Um, as long as you've got your basics right of having a, a great website with good images and good content optimised for SEO, um, you can be competing with uh, global brands and really you can punch above your weight. Twelve months ago, if you came on to TripAdvisor, you were looking for people that wrote in a, in, a, in a way that you might identify with, in other words, looking for user-generated content, maybe from a socio-economic background that you identified with. How much time do you think should be spent on social media <coughs> platforms? You can get obsessed with being on every channel, responding to every comment, uh, and you can end up chasing your tail. Um, some of the bigger brands can, can afford to employ perhaps full-time social media um, marketers, but if you're a small team, You've got to find out which channels are the most effective to you and um, address those as best you can rather than trying to do too much and, and spread yourself too thinly. Social media is very much about being social, about having a personality and about engaging. So um, I think that we are, really have an advantage now. There's so many different channels and there's so much being said. How do you condense it so the poor receptionist who's got so much to do already they know what brand message is. We currently have a massive dashboard projected onto our, uh, the side of our office so that everybody in the team can look on the wall and see how many Twitter followers we've got and look at the Twitter feed that's being updated all the time. Um, and that's just, you know, that's one way of being able to inform people in one go. Print, print and press is still very relevant. Um, People do spend a lot of time researching online, and reading reviews and such, um, but especially for this boutique hotel market, people do still like to sit down on a Sunday with the supplements, pour through the travel sections um, and find out where the, the journalists that they respect, whose opinions they trust, they want to know where they're going. Journalists do write online and they do, um, you know, they do write in print, so they are very, very engaged in social media as well so they form an important part of, of the overall marketing activity and we we now interact with some journalists on Twitter. We allow properties to upload video content uh, through the management centre. For those that have a business listing subscription um, they can have uh, video behind a, a, a carousel um, which also provides direct links into uh, into their own website and their special offers. So I think video is, is, is very important um, if you can do it right and if you can, yeah, if you can afford to do it. As a hotelier, uh, engage with the management centre which is free on TripAdvisor. Don't get so carried away with social media that you do it at the expense of traditional media which are still as valid as ever. Work out what your story is that you're that you're looking to tell, um, and then trial the social media platforms. Um, but don't rush in and try and do all of them. Get the basics right and be interesting. My key takeaways. Okay. Um, thank you, everybody, for um, attending the session. There are some drinks, I think, um, outside. Um, feel free to network. I think we're looking to, to wrap up at around about seven o'clock. Thank you.